Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Deluxe. All right, time to do another What's New in Transformers. Yay! Love talking about some new Transformers. I don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat a little bit about them and everything. So grab some popcorn, grab your favorite beverage, and let's sit back and relax. Let's just, you know, talk about some new Transformers. So, hey, take it away. Let's go. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And you know what they're good for? Leg fillers. And we're getting some more. So Shockwave's lab is giving us some fillers for the uh, core kingdom class Optimus Prime. Yep, going to get the back of it is going to get filled up. And you got the thighs are going to get filled up. So there you go. Filled up those waffles, man. Mm, mm, mm. Put some syrup on that. Looks pretty good. Uh, so if you do like this uh, Optimus Prime, you can get some leg fillers for them. Make them a little, little more... Uh, a little more better and everything. So there you go. Shockwave's lab got some leg fillers for Kingdom Optimus Prime core class. And it looks like we're getting some more fillers as well from Shockwave's lab. So we're getting Earthrise Trailbreaker, Runamuck, Sunstreaker, Zarak, Hoist, Clipjumper, Wheeljack, and Snapdragon. My God, that's a lot of waffles to fill. So yeah, it looks like we're getting a bunch of waffle fillers for those as well. That is awesome. It makes it look better. Uh, that's just great and everything. So yeah, Shockwave Lab, once again, give us some filler kits for a bunch of Earthrise stuff from uh, Deluxe and everything. So there you go. Man, I'm excited, man. They got some good stuff. Then up next, we got Matrix Workshop, and they got some really good stuff too. I've ordered from them and everything. So they got stuff coming from uh, Earthrise Bumblebee from the Netflix series. You got Earthrise Sunstreaker, and you also got the Kingdom Cyclonus kit. So let's take a look at Bumblebee first. So you're getting a backpack, you know, the jetpack they had in that one episode, and you're getting a gun for him. So that's pretty cool. Instead of having that long bazooka that Cliffjumper had, now you have his little pistol and everything. And that uh, jetpack looks pretty, you know, nice and everything. It looks, you know, it doesn't stick out a whole lot on the back, so that's pretty good. So there you go. M-41 is for uh, Bumblebee. And then up next is uh, Sunstreaker. So you're getting the spoiler, which everybody wanted. And you're also getting some guns because he did not come with any guns, which really suck. And they look really good. So that's pretty cool. So you get a little two, uh, the spoiler and the two guns for him. And I think that's awesome. I, I may get that for Sunstreaker because he's a good bot. He was just missing those two things. So really nicely done for that. It's uh, M42. This is for Earthrise Sunstreaker. Then up next, we got M-48. And this is for the Kingdom Cyclonus. So you get his uh, regular G1 gun. You get another one. Now you get another gun that looks like the Target Master, which looks pretty cool, which I don't think it's going to transform. And you also get the sword to kind of match up the uh, IDW. They should have maybe gave him another head with a broken horn. That would have been pretty cool. I'm sure somebody might make that. But yeah, you get some new guns and a new sword for uh, Cyclonus from the Kingdom area. So M-48, this is Matrix Workshop giving us some uh, great stuff and everything. Looks really nice. I may have to order all three of these. And then now Fun B Studios, which I they put out some really cool stuff. I haven't got anything from them, but they look like they you know got some cool stuff coming out. But they're giving us fillers, a grappling hook, and speakers for the Studio Series 86 Jazz. So that's pretty cool. So you're getting gap fillers, you know, for the thighs. That grappling thing looks pretty neat. Oh, I like that. That's pretty neat. And you get some purple speakers, and you can use you know blast effects or anything for it. You know, that looks really nice too as well. Um, so yeah, I like this. It looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind getting this for the jazz, especially that grappling hook. I think you could do really make some good pictures with that and everything. So yeah, Fun B Studios giving us uh, gap fillers, grappling hook, and speakers for Studio Series Jazz. All right, folks, that's all we have today for add-on kits. So let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends News. So we got new images from Magic Square Legends B. This is their Bumblebee, and man, this looks weird. That face is just like, hey, that looks like the face of a killer. I was going to say, I mean, this looks uh, not that. I mean, the bot mode looks fine. The car mode, I don't, it looks too blocky uh, for uh, for Bumblebee, especially the top part and everything. I don't I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, I like the new age one. The, that B is freaking awesome. But, you know, I'm going to try this one out probably. I don't know. But the it just looks, man, that face sculpt just like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like he's dead inside. But yeah, so Magic Square giving us a uh, Legends class Bumblebee. So be on the lookout for this thing. It looks like it's almost ready to go. Yeah, it just looks plain as well. I mean, it's just, you know, that matte finish on it and everything. It's just, I don't know. Just not really feeling this a lot, but we'll see. Yeah, so Magic Square, a Legends class Bumblebee. 
All right, so up next I came across this on uh, Third Party Unlimited. It looks like we got a little comparison shots with the New Age and the Magic Square and a cartoon version of Breakdown. So what's it gonna look like? Uh, Magic Square is having their two pack and their fixture to drop and New Age is gonna drop their Sundacons as well. I can't wait for those, man. That's, oh, that's nice. But yeah, here's a little comparison, you know, to line them up and everything to see what they're gonna look like and all that stuff. So I'm definitely gonna get the Magic Square ones, but um, I'm so excited for New Age. But yeah, this is their uh, breakdown comparison. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends News. Let's move on to third-party MP scale news. And TransArt got some more pictures for us for their Transmetal Cheetor. And, man, it looks really good. TransArt put out some really good stuff. I like they're going with the Beast Wars stuff that more than likely, you know, Hasbro or Takara is not going to put out. So they're giving us Transmetal Cheetor. It looks really good. That Ravage also that they're putting out is going to look pretty good. But yeah, I like this Cheetor. I'm definitely in for this one. Uh, really shiny. It's got some great paint. Uh, comes with a stand, got some blast effects. Man, that's awesome. So yeah, we got some new images from Trans Art for their Transmetal Cheetor. And man, looks pretty sweet. I'm excited for Beast Wars. Come on now, Beast Wars fans. Hear me rawr, or give me a rawr, or something like that. Anyways, Cheetor. <laughs> All right, now moving on to X Transbots and Gravestone side by side comparisons with the tune, and they're giving us the toy version, which they already gave us, you know, some of the, I think two are out right now, the toy version. You know, they did the uh, G2 versions, now they're doing the, you know, the toy version. So this is a little side by side comparison, and, you know, that's fine. Um, I'm doing the regular ones, and I'm doing the G2 ones, but I didn't go in on the tune version and everything, because I have enough Minosaurs, but there you go. x Transbots, Gravestone, side-by-side -side comparisons, tune, and toy. Oh, also from x Transbots, MX-14T, Flip Out. This is the youth version, or basically the toy version. Uh, these are just render picks, but it's showing, you know, so what these going to look, like, look like in their toy version. So, you yeah, know, pretty cool. And still with x Transbot, we got some new images of their trailer, and we also got some images of the combined mode. And right next to, uh, looks like Bruticus and the Toy World uh, Devastator, I think it's a good scale. I mean, he's, I think he always would be shorter than, uh, you know, the Constructicons or Devastator. And he's uh, a little shorter maybe than Bruticus as well. So I think he's a good scale for that and everything. So I'm excited. I can't wait for this damn trailer to come out. We've been waiting for at least a year. But here's some new pics of the trailer and also of combined mode. Man, hurry up and get out. Come on now. And still with X Transbots, I think that's the only thing we have this week is X Transbots. Uh, we got some new picks of their Springer or Virtuous or Virtuous, something like that. Virtuous. Uh, got some shows a new stand. You got some guns. You see the face plates. You get the bomb. That's pretty cool. But I like that stand. And you also get a human figure, which I showed on the last one. Uh, and they showed the Ultra Magnus too. So are they going to do Ultra Magnus? I don't know. But you're getting the human figures from that one line. And that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice little add-on. I love the bomb that comes with it. That is pretty cool. So yeah, this new image of the X-Transbot Springer. Uh, this is the premium version. So cool stuff. And I think this is the last thing from X-Transbots. We got a new image of Omnibot Overdrive. This is a test shot. So, you know, just showing, you know, little stuff here and there. Not showing a whole lot, but looks pretty good. I'm excited for the Omnibots. I know a lot of other people are. I never thought we'd ever get those, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, so X-Transbots uh, Overdrive uh, giving us a test shot from them, okay? That is cool. Neato potato. Oh, I was lying. There's one more thing from X-Transbot. We got new box images of their cup, Lock. So, yeah, got some new boxes, man. Who doesn't like some new box art, man? Looks pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get Cup or not. I may check them out. Who knows? But, yeah, boxes of uh, Cup from uh, x Transbots. My God, they got a lot of stuff. All right, folks, that's all we have for third-party news, which actually was just x Transbot stuff. But let's move on to official news. And McDonald's is giving us Happy Meal Transformers Cyberverse toys. Yay. Now get me a Happy Meal and get me some... I may try to get that star screen though. But they have dates for uh, Bumblebee. It's going to be January 7th to the 13th. Megatron is going to be the 14th to the 20th of January. Starscream is going to be the 21st to the 27th. I need to mark that down. And Optimus Prime is going to be February 4th to February 10th. So if you like these little uh, Happy Meal things, hey, there you go. Some Cyberverse toys from, uh, from McDonald's. Yeah, go get you some nuggets and, you know, get you a little toy. All right. So then next we got some new images of Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Ultra Magnus. And it looks, you know, looks bad. I like it in alt mode. I like the more G1 version, you know, the Earth mode and everything. It looks a lot better than what the RID version looks like. 
Uh, you can notice there's some quite a bit, you know, quite a bit of change there and thing. Uh, extensive changes are, you know, our armor and inner robot to make him closer to the G1 design in robot and alt mode. Uh, like I said, it's, so it's going to be remolded, so that's really good. And so that's pretty cool. Yeah, some new uh, shots of Leader Class Ultra Magnus, and this is from Kingdom. And yeah, I'll probably definitely get this guy. And we also got some new Studio Series SS72 Starscream package and in stock images. So very nice. I'm excited for this one. I think this should be coming out pretty soon. So a nice little Studio Series box. You're going to have a little background. Looks like it's going to be the Cybertron uh, thing in the background. And it shows some more pics of the uh, alt mode and the bot mode. So, yep, I'm definitely looking forward to this one because I like some Starscream. So there you go. New Studio Series SS72 Starscream from the Bowling Bee movie. Uh, you got packaging and stock images. Then up next, we got some Flames toys coming along. All right, nice. We got RC. It's going to be one of those Build-A-Kit uh, things and everything. So it's going to be a highly stylized RC, but still recognized as the classic G1 Fembot and everything. So no price or anything or nothing you know, has been announced when it's going to come out. This is basically uh, just a picture they drew and everything. But this is the Flames Toy Fura model line. And so, yeah, look. You know, looks pretty good if you like building kits and everything this is uh this is your cup of tea so rc is coming from flames toys and also from flames toys we're getting a new uh leo prime which he's been revealed before but now we got a full color image of the fura action leo prime and I think it looks pretty good. He, he definitely comes you know, with uh, with a lot of stuff and everything. Uh, he comes with a large energy sword, a sheath, and a cloth cape, which that's pretty neat. Um, he also a detachable line head shield that with cannons on the underside and you know and everything. So it's going to be highly highly articulated, and it looks like it's got you know a lot of good paint on there right now. So it looks pretty good. I don't know if you're a big Beast Wars fan, definitely you probably want to pick this up. And then you know. Flames Toys puts out some really good stuff and everything, so I highly expect this one to uh, be a great one as well. So yeah, new Flames Toys Leo Prime has been revealed, and it looks pretty sweet. I love that sword, man. It looks pretty nice. Then up next, we also have a possible first look at War for Cybertron Deep Cover. So this is basically going to be a e-hobby exclusive. Uh, the figure was a G1 side set redeco from uh, around 2003. Uh, so it looks like we may be getting another, this probably might, probably will be a generation selects kind of thing going on. Uh, but yeah, deep cover is coming and it's just a recolor of their side swipe. So yay. Then up next, it looks like there was a product codes and information for generation selects G2 Ramjet and Transmutate. So that's pretty cool. Now, more likely it's going to be Ramjet from the uh, Earthrise, you know, and everything, just going to be in G2 colors. Now, as far as Tremute, I don't know who that's going to be. Um, it, it may probably be a recolor for one of the Kingdom figures. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but they did find some product codes, and so they're probably going to give us that, and that's be pretty cool. You know, she was a, a, a builder figure uh, back in Beast War for the 10th anniversary one, and then G2 Ramjet, you know, that's going to go with the G2 uh, other stuff and everything, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, Generation Selects is probably going to give us G2 Ramjet and Transmutate. Awesome, awesome. And we have some Kind of good news. It's pretty cool. So the Earthrise Thundercracker and Skywarp 2-pack that was available only in Target is getting released in other places. Entertainment Earth has one up for pre-order. So that might be good news. You know, a lot of people are upset. You know, I'm kind of upset. I, I want to try to find some G.I. Joes, but they're really hard to find. But I've been lucky with the uh, Transformer stuff. I found all that stuff. But a lot of people haven't. So, you know, this is your chance to get Thundercracker and Skywarp. And maybe they'll, you know, start releasing some of the other uh, exclusives like Thrust and uh, Runabout. Maybe two other, uh, you know, companies or anything. So I think J uh, Chosen Prime... Um, I think Ages 3 and Up and some other BBTS may have them up as well. So that's pretty cool. So if you're not able to get to Target, here's your chance to get that two-pack for you. All right? Go out there and get that stuff, man. And last but definitely not least, we got some new images of Thundercracker. This is MP-52+. This is going to be released in Japan. It's a Takari Tomy Mall exclusive. Uh, Pre-orders will be up uh, on January 14th to the February 22nd. It's going to be approximately $264.27, uh, scheduled to be released in September 2021. So this is you know, just a redeco of their star screen that's coming out. Uh, we got some new uh, images that are, you know, stuff for the accessories. They got no brain cannons. We got replacement faces. Uh, we got effect parts. You know, this is all blast effects or anything. Adapter. Got display uh, base and everything. That's really nice. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we're getting a Thundercracker, but it's going to be a Takara Tomy Mall exclusive. I'm sure U.S. retailers are going to get them. I'm hoping that Amazon Japan gets one so I can get these and everything. I'm, I'm going to get them. I'm definitely getting Starscream. 
you have to get Thundercracker and Skywarp. Hold on, come on, now they're a team. They're seekers. But yeah, this is coming out in uh, September, which is my birthday. Yay, early uh, probably a birthday present. Thundercracker from uh, Takara Tomi, mall exclusive. Mm, mm, mm. Look at them blast effects. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have this week for news. And man, we got some good stuff, man. That Transart Transmetal Cheetor looks pretty good. X Transbot's got a lot of stuff. I wish they just put out that damn trailer, which I think is coming uh, either this month or next month. We got some nice uh, add on kits coming out, you know, nice uh, um, legend stuff, man, with the Stunticons and everything. My gosh, I can't wait for that stuff to come out. And we got Thundercracker. That's awesome as well. So yeah, hope you liked this. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Check out my Instagram page if you don't mind as well. And I guess I'll see you on the next, uh, you know, what's doing Transformers. Oh, hit me up with some comments as well. Tell me what you're excited for. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro. And good night, folks.